Um, so we were looking for something uh, that will give them more uh, practical experience about uh, not just academics, something that was different than academics. So when this came out, uh, the, the courses, the, uh, the format looked very, very interesting. So we thought we'll give it a shot and I think uh, the last three weeks, based on our, our conversation with kids, was just uh, great, great feedback. So the way you structured it in classes and mixed them outside in the hostel, it's a very beautiful thing because you've given them a sense of how to live in a hostel. You know, it's 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 an all-round program. It's an all-round program rather than only a course, right? You know, so when we especially saw the, the program list and uh, the curriculum, so to say, it seemed like it's going to the next level. Yeah. You know, which is very important to keep them challenged and stimulated because uh, to consistently you hear your child say, "I'm bored. It's too easy for me." Especially math. I'm talking about math. And he had one look at the list, you know, of the programs and said, ah, this is what I, I very clear I want to do this. I want to be challenged. I want to learn more. And uh, from the little time we spent with him right now, it's, it, that's clearly been accomplished. Yeah, yeah. I think the, the primary things were the, the type of projects that they worked on. Uh, and, and the fact of the matter, it's more uh, practical and uh, less of a classroom thing. It was very, very interesting to him. And how then to sort of try different things, different prototypes and, and try and fail. I think were some of the key learnings. And all the other activities that they had during the um, three weeks that they were here, not just what they did in the classroom, the other stuff too, all the you know collaborative things and the cultural things and various other things that they did, they had a good time. And I think one more thing that really works um, as an advantage is coming from North India. Our kids have a very restricted interaction with kids from down south. This sort of brings down a lot of distance barriers also that tend to come in. You know, when you say finish school, get into a college which is more uh, national or international in outlook, you suddenly find yourself amidst people who come from a different cultural background, grooming and different sort of thought process. So I think it's, it's a very fulfilling experience from that perspective as well. They have definitely understood the concepts. Because all the kids, they are talking so confidently. I mean, they are presenting each of them, they are presenting their charts very confidently, which is very good. I mean, even we visited other this also, other courses also. Even there, the children were very enthusiastic and confident. Nobody was scared or anything, you know. So they have learned a lot. So, you know, thinking out of the box, breaking down problems into smaller problems, finding solutions, applying it to the wider. These are skills that are that we see, you know, is, is what's going to be useful useful for the new age. So he has gone beyond his comfort zone to put an effort into this program and whatever was there, curriculum for the day, he has enjoyed it thoroughly. Now I think so is that they will be able to connect the dots. Yeah. Where so they, they go into a very rot kind of a learning at school, it will help them to analyze and put two and two things together. He was firstly too busy to talk to us. So it was more over WhatsApp. So our, our phone conversations were limited to you know a few minutes. I think at night, every night or so, he consistently said that I'm having a great time, very well taken care of, uh, supervised all the time, stimulated, engaged in various different activities. Um, small small things like food is really good. Our RCs are you know uh, we have open communication with them. He said my teacher is excellent. My teaching assistant is really great. So he had very very good uh, feedback. We were very happy. We were extremely happy. Very happy. Normally he's a very introvert kid. So seeing him work with other kids, talking to them, dragging them in, working in a teamwork, uh, that's actually a big surprise for both of us. So it feels very good to, that where he's you know, proud and passionate about showing what he's done. It is hard uh, as parents because it's the first time we're sending him as three weeks. But the fact of the matter, it's for a bigger purpose, you know, beyond us yes. as parents. Uh, you know, it's at the end of the day, you know, how do you ensure that your, your kids got the right foundation uh, yes. you know, for the future? I mean, it's very comforting because it's the first time our, you know, child is staying away and obviously you know we, we had we I don't think we felt nervous. I was not nervous at all. No. I mean you're nervous because you know your child is going away. Yeah. But I kept telling Radish from the beginning, I'm so confident that he is going to be absolutely fine. The first thing that comes into my mind is uh, gratitude to the SA team because uh, they have given our kids uh, such a great experience which the school or any other institute that they go to Know, wouldn't have been able to spend so much time, effort and the, uh, the caring that they have done to the kids that 
my son is always like it's been an awesome experience this is the word that i hear repeatedly from my kid whenever i ask him is how is it going